I think what schools must do is to build up the self-esteem of the child, you know, in a positive way. Recognize whatever ability they have. They don't all have to be brilliant in mathematics, as I say earlier, and all those things. If they're good in sports, recognize that and make a point of mentioning it and, reward, and, and saying, oh, he's very good in sports, very good in uh, running, you know, he's a Recognize the different aspects and abilities of children, you know. The child is in school, say, from 7.30, he leaves the house. He gets to school about 7.45 and school, and then he's in school till about 4 o'clock. Then he goes home. By well, spending so much time in school, and uh, when he goes home, if he arrives home about 4, 3 or 4 o'clock, then he's there and he's doing his homework. So it's like, school and family, school and family. And so the two must, mu must cooperate and must uh, get on. So many parents, I should say, are working today, so they can't spend time with their children. By the time they get to secondary three, four, they can have a understanding, they can share, and they should be able to go and maybe visit homes orphanages or uh, children's homes or organize active games and sports with a nearby school. Hey, there's a children's home nearby. Why don't we go and do some work there? Why don't we go and do some voluntary work? Why don't we invite them over to come and play games in our school? The teacher feels there's something she has to do. It's part one of the duties for her. No point. But if you have a teacher in the school who has compassion and has noticed there are needs in the neighborhood or maybe within the school itself,